When we start to confront our unconscious, we learn that coming to the kingdom of God is a process, a journey, a work of our life. We have to commit to it. In Sanford's counseling work, many people came to therapy and confronted themselves only when they were in great pain. If they weren't in great pain, they did not come. And often, for some of them, when some of the pain was alleviated through the counseling, they turned back to their old ways. Others chose not to turn back to their old ways, and they kept looking within and growing. And they were asked, could you stop this inner work if you wanted to? And they said, no, I have no choice but to continue. And he said, for them, the kingdom of God is close at hand. That a new life amounts to a complete change, a renewal of our personalities. He said, Christianity is a feeling religion that deeply involves our emotions as well as our intellect. John 3, 3, except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. This birth is the birth of a new personality and the death of the old one. We have to have a higher moral and psychological consciousness to be born again. And you know that ch uh, Jesus often used children as examples, saying we cannot enter the kingdom until we become as little children. He spoke of them because they are still spontaneous and express themselves directly with no masks yet. They remain in contact with the inner world. Matthew 10, 34 to 36. Do not think that I have come to bring peace on earth. I have not come to bring peace, but a sword. He said traditional theology missed the significance of the kingdom of God. They thought we get there through obedience. But Kunkel and Sanford say we get there by taking off our masks and becoming conscious of our unconscious. When we have no relationship to the unconscious world, we're still affected by it, even though we don't recognize it or acknowledge it, but we experience it negatively as a dark burden. When the unconscious is consciously experienced, it frees us from this heaviness. The yoke that Christ spoke of is the yoke of becoming conscious. It lays requirements on us, but in the long run, we're told, it is a light burden. So to belong to the kingdom, we must cease to identify with the masks we wear.